Hello and welcome to the Bloomberg Intelligence uh, Mid-Year Outlook for Infrastructure Software. My name is Mandeep Singh and I want to uh, talk about how we are thinking about infrastructure software for the rest of the year. And look, infrastructure software for us is a combination of four main segments. The first one being uh, databases, second one is system software, third one is DevOps, and uh, last but definitely not the least is cybersecurity. And we think, you know, given we have seen such a sharp drawdown in the tech stocks uh, uh, and, uh, you know, the high growth SaaS names within infrastructure software have come down across the board. Uh, I, I mean, look, uh, when it comes to the top line fundamentals, some of these companies have non-discretionary characteristics, they have steady pricing power, and we think, you know, especially companies, the cloud software companies and cybersecurity and DevOps uh, showcase those sort of characteristics. So they, uh, the divergence that we are seeing between their fundamentals and valuation isn't going to hold very long. And that's where, you know, they keep showing 35 to 40% top line growth, which we think they will, given uh, the pricing power they've shown so far. As well as, you know, these companies have, some of these companies have seen positive revisions, which is very unlike, uh, you know, the other uh, uh, companies in the tech space. So clearly there is some divergence in the infrastructure software. Uh, we think the 50 to 70 percent drawdown uh, across the board is not representative of the fundamentals in this space. And uh, look, for some of the smaller discretionary names, uh, this could be a catalyst for consolidation as enterprises pull back on discretionary. So what I mean by that discretionary bucket is, you know, names like uh, Asana, Smartsheet, Monday.com, which is sort of redundant with what, uh, you know, you could get from uh, an Atlassian or, uh, you know, some of the other names in this space uh, where Microsoft is bundling everything. Uh, and, you know, they've done a great job of just consolidating a lot of the functionality for the enterprises. So we think, uh, you know, there is a natural course here in terms of consolidation and that uh, this very well could be a catalyst for that. Now, the reason why we are very uh, constructive and positive on cybersecurity is this is emerging as one of the areas where you will continue to see robust demand simply because uh, you know, you've uh, won this fear of losing intellectual property and you're not going to cut back on that you know, in this sort of environment uh, where there are so many sophisticated attacks out there. And uh, names like CrowdStrike and Zscaler, they have seen positive revisions. So clearly you know, the fundamentals are holding well. They have the least, uh, uh, you know, margin pressure simply because their deal sizes are growing. You see natural leverage. And so uh, while there is a margin compression we see in some of the segments where customer acquisition costs will go up because uh, uh, enterprises are looking to consolidate and there is that element of pull forward, we don't see that in all of the other uh, infrastructure software segments, namely cybersecurity and DevOps. So uh, to conclude, this segment infrastructure software will hold up much better than some of the other segments of tech simply because it's a recurring subscription model. These companies continue to uh, show steady top line growth. And uh, you know, these companies have that pricing power if if we are talking about digital transformation and moving more of the workloads to cloud you need infra investments in infrastructure software even some of the smaller names like gitlab hashicorp uh, you know datadog is not small anymore but th these are uh, pretty much table stakes for any enterprise that's looking to migrate their workloads to cloud you have to think about that stack and, and these uh, names fit very well uh, from that perspective. So uh, 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 yes, so to conclude, I, I really feel very strongly about the divergence in fundamentals, but at the same time, uh, infrastructure software is one segment of tech that will hold up much better, even in an extreme downside scenario. Thank you for listening.